Hi everybody, thank you for coming back on this bonus video day. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I have a little project I've been working on. I'm trying to re restore a wood frame that I picked up at the flea market for $10 uh, back to its original state. Here's the frame right here. And when I bought it, the owner of the booth that sold it to me had painted the whole thing white with latex paint. So even this inner fabric was painted as well. So I'm gonna give you a quick catch up of what I had to do to strip that off and get it to this point. And then from here, I'm going to show you how I'm gonna restore this back to its beautiful self. Right back. I'm using the clean strip paint and varnish stripper to remove the latex paint. And I've already applied one coat that got most of the white paint off. I'm repeating the stripping process to get off the remaining layers of paint and primer. And you can see, I'll get it close here, we can, hopefully you can see this, that she applied white latex paint over gold finish. And then it looks like the primer underneath that right here they used a red dark red primer here's a that's a really good shot of the red but yeah you can see all the, the intricacy of the carvings this is gonna be a beautiful frame when it's done This was created by peeling back layer after layer. This is just a damp cloth. I should give you a better idea of what we're looking at. So I'm going to keep brushing at this and then I will come back and show you when I'm all done what it looks like. I'm going to wash this with this clean strip after wash and stripper using a steel wool pad. This makes it really easy to get off any paint that the stripper didn't get. It also gets off any debris and prepares the wood for priming. So the first thing that I want to show you is my inspiration frame and it's right over here. Never mind the picture. <laughs> Let's just move this picture out of the way. Yeah, this is very old. It's a picture of me um, when I was in my 20s. But as you'll notice, this is a beautiful, heavy, wooden carved uh, frame that's been treated with like gold uh, leaf or some sort of gold paint and then uh, stained in the, uh, within the carvings to make them, the carvings more, uh, give them more depth. So this is the color that I wanna come back to and I'm gonna show you a few of the items that I picked up to, to try and get this frame to look like that one. So uh, as you're, when you have something like this, one of the things I love is as you're stripping and pulling back the layers, you start to see how the frame or whatever it is you're working on, how it was constructed, its history. And uh, as you can see here, there's a reddish tint to this, to the wood. And that's because 
back in the day, they would paint or put a red primer on the wood first in order to bring more warmth to the gold and really make that gold pop. But you can see that it was done with a very bright yellowy gold, probably gold leaf uh, on, on top of the red. So what I'm gonna do, hold on one second. I am in the storage room and uh, this room is a dusty mess. It's just got stuff in it that we don't use anymore, but uh, my old kitchen table is here and so it's a really good work surface. So that's why I have some, th some of my things from my old house out here uh, as well as furniture from my old place. But what I wanted, so I went and got this little tray that I could show you everything that I collected to do this work. So first of all, I picked up this red acrylic paint that I'm gonna use as a base coat. This color is called Fire Engine Red. You can see there that it's a deep with a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. Uh, it's more of a neutral. It's not really too warm or bricky or orange or anything like that. It's, it's as close as I could get to a true darker red. So I picked up from Krylon this color called Gold Leaf. This is more of a high shine metallic gold with a green undertone. And then I also picked up this metallic acrylic in antique gold. This is a warmer gold, and I'm gonna show you uh, both of these swatched to give you a better idea. Then to go around the inner edge, my, our old friend Rub and Buff. Uh, this is the antique gold color as well. I love this, I've used this before. And then to, to go and give this more depth, to go in, into the actual carvings with a darker bronzy color that I picked this up, but I have a feeling this is this is also metallic, and I think this might be too shiny. What I was gonna, what I planned to do was dilute this. It's acrylic, so I could dilute it with water and then try and just dab it into the cracks and crevices and things like that. But then I found this wax. This is in. This is like a, a um, an antique. I think this is yeah. This color is just called antique. This is a really dark brown, and I think this is going to be closer to the uh, inspiration frame. So we'll play around with those. If I don't, if this doesn't work, I already have another project that I'm going to use this on. So nothing's going to go to waste. Uh, so let me show you what I did. Okay, so I have this this little swatch card. This is actually just an old floor tile. And I laid down a coat of the red primer. And then on top of that, I, lay, I sprayed on the Krylon uh, in the gold leaf. And over here, this is the antique gold. And then once it's dried, I put these two, uh, put the swatch next to the inspiration frame. And it really looks like this is going to be the better match. This is interesting and we'll probably use it again on, on another frame perhaps, but for this frame, we're gonna go with this combo right here. So that's this and this. It is so hot in here right now. And this room, I think it has electricity somewhere, but I can't find an outlet. So no fans, no lighting. The lighting is just gonna to have to be from the big windows that are in front of me. So I've taped off the insides and I've just started applying this dark red acrylic. Once I've got this completely covered, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll be back to pick up from there. So because it is so warm, that took a, only took about an hour to dry. You can see it's completely dry. So I'm gonna now go in with the gold paint with this um, antique gold shade. Once this is dry, this is probably gonna take longer, so I'll wait overnight and then come back and finish it off. I started with a sponge brush, then switched to bristles for a smoother application. Okay. 
All right, so it's been a day and this has had time to dry. I put two really good coats of the gold on it so you can see what it looks like now. And the next thing that I wanna do is go in and create the depth and the, the aging that we see here on the uh, inspiration piece. So you can see the aging here on the inspiration piece and that's what we're gonna go for now is to try and get this aging on the new piece. So I'm using the Art Minds Wax in the Antique shade. This is a dark, it's, it's really close to the same color as the, uh, the inspiration piece, the inspiration frame. And the color here is very brown. It's a really deep, dark brown. And the way this works is it's a preserving wax. So you could just put it all over the whole thing, leave it on and then buff it off and it will preserve the wood. But what I'm gonna do is go into the crevices, the, the actual design, the carvings, and I'm gonna uh, put it on and then immediately buff it off with, these are rags. This actually was a pair of pajamas that came apart. So uh, gonna buff it off with, the, with a clean uh, cloth lint free and hopefully it will look the way I want it to look. So why don't we just try one. So it says to use a light coat. So let's just start right up here. Yeah, so it goes on, I'm gonna need a little bit more of the light coat I think because we wanna get it into the crevices. Let's just try this corner. And then, yes, you can see So that gives you a little bit better idea. I think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna to have to be a little bit careful not to rub off too much. So you wanna use a really light hand and maybe I'll get a little brush and go into the minute areas here. But I think this is going to work just fine. So that's what it looks like. And let's do some more. So now this has to dry for about 24 hours. Before I let it go though, I'm gonna go around this inside edge with our the antique gold rub and buff. It's the next day, everything is dried, and I buff the high points with a clean cloth just to make them stand out a little more. Here you can see it right next to the inspiration frame. and it is very, very close. What do you think? I'm so happy with how this turned out. 
The gold frame really complements this beautiful picture. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my next one. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you soon.